Hello and welcome to this extremely special episode of Art History Plus. Any self-respecting individual will agree with me that their body is their primary asset. It's the most important thing. And we have with us an amazing, an amazing doctor, Dr. Amol Patil. We're going to ask him a bunch of questions. And the reason he's on Art History Plus is because this conversation involves and only because he has mastered the art of Ayurveda. It's a historical subject. There are a lot of contemporary questions I have with regards to a subject that is as old and may I say ancient as Ayurveda. He, I'm, I'm currently at the Tapasya Wellness Center in Kolhapur. I have gone through nine days of absolute recovery. I have personal uh, problems with myself. I'm not going to reveal them here, but I must say I'm kind of like 90% fixed. Uh, I found it extremely, extremely interesting, the model in which they operate. They've almost flipped it. It's the complete opposite of what I experienced in any other hospital ever in my life. I have with me Dr. Amol Patil, and I'm going to probe a little bit into his mind because he's a man of passion. He's a man of medicine. And the more and more I spoke to him in the last nine days, I just found out, man, He's an artist also. And so let's explain this and let's explore the subject. We have with us Mr. Amol Patil. Dr. Amol Patil. So this con can you, can you uh, if we start this conversation, I would like, we, I always ask people out of one to 10, what will be your humor setting in this? If one is very serious and 10 is very funny, what would you like to maintain? I would say five. Five, okay, we have five. From an honesty perspective, if one is being you are very secretive and 10 being you are ready to be completely open with all the trade secrets of Ayurveda and your, your subject, how open are you going to be from 1 to 10? Right. 8. So that means there are two, there are two, uh, there are two places where we can catch him. Uh, I'm not, not catch him, I mean, in the sense, if I'm, I'm really interested. I'll try to probe with that. So since you said 8, can I ask you, I'll ask, I was going to ask you this question the last. I'll ask it now. I'll just go for it straight up front. Yeah. I have studied this subject for quite some time, and it has occurred to me that in India, the government allocates 97% of its research budget for allopathy. I don't know if you know this. I'm sure you know this. I think Ayurveda, I don't I want to understand if so much research is going into allo, into modern medicine and allopathy. Uh, how do you as a, an MD in Ayurveda, which by the way, I didn't, I personally, my bad, I didn't know that you could do an MD in Ayurveda. I'll ask you that later. But how do you, how do you kind of, how do you fight allopathy? I'm not saying fight in the sense directly because you all both have the same mission, I'm assuming of, of, of course. Can you please explain to me, how do you do research? How is, how is, how, how will Ayurveda grow? if allopathy has been allocated so much research, budgets. Yes. Of course, uh, let me correct one thing about you is it is not 97%, it is 96.5% to allopathy and 3.5% for the entire Ayush system. The budget is allocated of that health uh, sector. Of course, the research is going on, uh, but the most interesting thing in Ayurveda is Research has been completed in Ayurveda and the entire set of the research has been given to us, to the doctors and uh, which has to be practiced well. Now, research is completed. Completed. I mean, there are no trials and errors to be done. Now, whatever has been given in the classics of Ayurveda, that just has to be implemented successfully sure. and that has to be made uh, uh, practically possible uh, as per the uh, time to time. I mean, as per the era, I could say. Because we are now in uh, 2024 uh, 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 and Ayurveda has been written more than 5000 years back. I don't know the exact era of Ayurveda, but it has been written when there were no temples. Because in Ayurveda, there is no concept of temple has been written anywhere. But why, why should there be a reference to temple? Because the temple era has started around 1500 years back. You just made the subject religious now. Why did you say temple? Uh, because uh, in Ayurveda, 
it it is uh, something i could ca- can say uh, it believes uh, in the creator it is uh, it does study of all the darshanas like astic darshanas nastic darshanas astic nastic darshanas and it takes a summary of all the things basically its roots are in the atharva veda really so all the science the fundamentals of science are uh, uh, based on the atharva veda so it is definitely uh, vedic science and that is why uh, wherever there is some auspicious things you want to do any karma even uh, we do pancha karma we do vaman virachan basti so in the beginning of that it has been always told to do the mangala charan and mangala charan in the sense you have to be mentally composed first you have to be mentally prepared and for that first you should bow down to the god so the concept of god is there but uh, there is no concept of temple that is important thing that is important. we were we were talking about allopathy yeah how do you with regards to allopathy how do you how will you you know there's so much research i know we know aims is there in uh, in yes, delhi yes all over and there's so much clinical trials being done on medicines in ayurveda you said are you serious you're saying this is everything's done it has to be implemented <laughs> yes i mean uh, no wonder there's no funding there <laughs> <laughs> no no there is <laughs> why do you need funding for research then if everything is done oh uh, it is not like that i mean as i said <laughs> it has to be implemented successfully for example i will give you one example see um a famous example of chavan prash right so how to make the chavan prash the procedure has been given in that around uh, apart from the important content of that which is uh, avla apart from that there are so many ar- around more than 40 contents are there now uh, the procedure of making chavan prash is very tedious and first it has to be done it has to be i mean uh, that uh, entire process has to be conducted and it has to be seen whether however it has been written in the classic whether it is prepared in the same way or not so these things are important to be done once that is done it is just a matter of implementation for example they have given yeah why did if if it has to be implemented how yeah. come a kanglor a, a a multinational company like dabar how come they are making it why can't why can't everybody make it why does dabar have this product in their portfolio i don't know it is not that nobody is uh, apart from dabar nobody is doing that everybody is doing chavan prash even uh, a small ayurveda practitioner uh, who is doing a day to day opd basis practice he is also preparing his own uh, chavan, chavan prash and he is dispensing to his patients it is not that rocket science that uh, chavan prash cannot be made but in the beginning when all these concepts has to be done on the first time then it has to be i mean uh, properly done seen how it is it is going on so that is what is called as research sure. it is searched we have to do a research that's it and you have to keep and as you said about the uh, funding of that definitely we have uh, the national institutes like nia jamnagar bhu uh, aims now there are two aims one is in goa itself and one is in uh, delhi so they have the responsibility of doing the research yeah. and lot of research are already done there uh, but i only what is the problem problem is it is not published it is not, not brought uh, in front of the people what kind of research is done and that is why people may not be knowing that there are a lot of i mean uh, research done but you are not knowing about that we only know that so is it an ayush ministry problem is it a marketing problem i don't want to put you in a problem <laughs> but is it is it a, a mentality problem where we prefer european i don't want to say european i want to say western medicine no or, or uh, we don't believe in maybe cuz i had a knee pain i had knee pain i'm 90% i have no knee pain i had a back pain i have no back pain i had acidity i'm almost fixed i had some skin related thing i'm fixed i don't i must have gone through a bunch of doctors in my life this has helped me now i'm not sure whether i don't know magically maybe the weather is amazing this place is really amazing whether what fixed me but if i have to convince somebody in a friend of mine saying if he ask me a simple packaged question what fixed you i don't know in ayurveda which part fixed me i'm just going to say dr patel tapasya wellness clinic fixed me but in in allopathy if you say, if i say i have a fever you're like have this pill it's it's packaged really well 
You say, have this crocin or have this pill. I don't take any brand names. Take a pill. It's done. Ayurveda has that branding image problem. No, firstly, as you said, um, uh, uh, entire Ayush ministry has been created uh, around 10 years back. So, Ayush has been separated and that is why it has been given a dedicated uh, yes. I mean, uh, uh, funds as well as the, or the allocations after that in last 10 years. The budget which was, I mean, 2.5% uh, initially made up to 3.5%. Wow. <laughs> but amount wise it is uh, you can say wow to that uh, amount wise it is increased 60% uh, yeah. Uh, yeah I mean uh, the overall budget amount has been increased so amount wise it is big growth Yes. and that is why uh, whatever the research has been done so far it is not yet come in front of the people still uh, the things are going on uh, the ministry is trying well to bring in front of the people now you must have seen after covid I mean, people are more aware about the Ayurveda and they are even started following. Before that, they were aware, but they were not following that. But after COVID, yeah. actually, they started following that. They started searching. Uh, now, you searched about the Tapasya and then you came, you, you did the treatment. Before that, it was just searching, looking at it. Yes, acha hai, Ayurveda to apara hai, purana hai. Yeha tak tha. Perfect. Like, in wo implement nahi ho tha. So, this change has come after COVID. Uh, marketing to thoda... And also, we all need to, even though we have different issues with the person, but Baba Ramdev somewhere has kind of made a mega, mega psychological impact in the consciousness of India to kind of start doing at least yoga in the morning and do Ayurvedic practice. I mean, he's he runs a brand called Patanjali. That's a great brand name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, of course, I mean, uh, a kind of, uh, some percentage of uh, credit should be given to him. So, uh, because the Ayurveda has reached uh, to everyone's home and people became at least aware of that. But mm. at the same time, I would say uh, the Ayurveda has been taken by the people as a product, not as a science. Ayurveda matlab aloe vera juice, Ayurveda matlab uh, avla juice, Ayurveda matlab chavan prash. Explain, please explain this. So, uh, this is how the products are marketed well and not as a science. As, because Ayurveda has its own language, it has its own process of diagnosis. Uh, on the basis of the diagnosis, the treatment plan is made and then systematically the pathophysiology is broken as it is done exactly in the allopathy science, which is uh, supposed to be a very systematic way. In the same way, in the classics itself, it has been given how we should uh, do the diagnosis, what may be the causes of various disorders, very minute testing. For example, uh, if yes. you have acidity, then Acidity, it's a uh, general word, yes. but it can be either acidity or alkalinity and which has been properly bifurcated in Ayurveda and has been given about it. How do they do that? How do they know the pH level? Yes. And then, thousands of years yes, back. there is a concept of Amla and Kshara in Ayurveda. Amla is acid and Kshara is base, basic, alkali. This has happened before yes. Western yes, acidity yes. and yes. observations. Yes, of course. So, why wouldn't you... This is a question I didn't ask you the other day. Why, why, why isn't if science is observation and repetitive deduction, not reduction, deduction, and coming up with new ob new insights based on research? Why isn't Ayurveda? Because even though it is observation, you know somebody somebody must have had a wild mushroom, had it died. Hundred people know, don't have that, the person dies. Then the next generation is like, okay, if it's pink in color, you can have it, and it's actually good for you. You know, there's so much observation, mm -hmm. like like an oral tradition. Yes. Maybe. Why isn't it? What makes what makes it not a science? What? How do I ask the question? Yeah, why, I understood. Why it, I understood your why uh, question. Why isn't it a science? Yes. Yes. Uh, just, that's what I'm just saying. Just because it's not that's documented. What I'm saying. First thing is uh, the awareness was very poor, and then the people when it uh, I mean the authentic people who are doing the Ayurvedic practice and who are the treating uh, patients. They are always into that mindset that it, this is science and this has to be implemented in this way. It is uh, being clear from the ages in I, India. When it has started getting commercialized, then what uh, to be sold? The first important thing is the product. Yeah. And then first the product is sold. Because of the product, the people started knowing about Ayurveda. Yes, this is Ayurveda. Sure. And after that, then it has started. Yes, then if it is, then uh, let us go in depth of that. Now the second stage has started because there's money. And probably to be made. yes, people are now as you asked, the people have started asking what is Ayurveda. 
Sure. So now it's time to explain people. It is not just a product. It is uh, not even a, just a service. It's entire science. And let us respect Ayurveda as a science first. Sure. Now I remember, you know, there's a major shift. Every major company that was, every major toothpaste brand that was using, you know, basic fluoride toothpaste, white mm-hmm. paste. Now suddenly I'm noticing they have Tulsi, Amla, charcoal, activated <laughs> charcoal. And they don't even mention that it's Ayurveda. They kind of, they've sat on the bandwagon of the Ayurveda boat. Now, Bhati Ganga, mein, hat dhoke, they are trying to make money. And you have these indigenous or you have like independent smaller brands. You know, there's so many multiple homemade brands now yes, which are yes. popping up. This is yes, new yes. India. Of course. People are coming up with new uh, brands, them smaller brands. Uh, I'm seeing they are having a tough time marketing, reach out their brand to so And suddenly, the person who's doing it authentically has to prove that this is authentic. And the only reason for that is Correct. there is no clinical research because to launch a toothpaste brand, the mm-hmm. amount of clinical research and trials you need to do mm-hmm. to put it testing out, mm-hmm. the smaller brands are not able to do. Is that a problem? Yes. As you said, uh, you have used one word, the multinational company. Yeah. So when we have to take it outside our country, then uh, definitely we really need uh, that kind of research, uh, these kinds of things to be proven to someone else. But if you ask in India, if you want to sell it, I, I don't think that people will ask uh, for its um, uh, proof as well as its research. It has to be done uh, clinical trials because in India, Ayurveda is taken as its own uh, science, its own uh, medicine. Sure. And ghar ghar ke, ghar ghar kitchen mein already dawaiya bhari hui hai, haldi hai, jeera hai, dhaniya hai. All these are medicines. And all these have come, the all, source of these. All these are medicines. Yes. And source of these is from the Ayurveda classics itself. But you have kisne sikhaya, chapati kese banate hai, dal kese banate hai, tadka kese dete hai, tadke me pele, til hi dalna chahiye, fir sarso dalna chahiye, ya apko kisne pataya. ये सारी चीजें जो है ना ये आयुर्वेद के टेक्स्ट से ही आई हुई है पाक कला कैसी होनी चाहिए पूरी कैसी बनानी चाहिए उसको बेलना कैसे चाहिए एवरीथिंग आई मीन राइस को कैसे बनाना चाहिए गंजी को कैसे बनाना चाहिए इट्स ऑल रिटन वे इन आयुर्वेदिक क्लासिक्स इटसेल्फ ऑल द ऑथेंटिक ओरिजिनल बुक्स इफ यू हैड टू मेंशन थ्री आयुर्वेदिक क्लासिक्स लाइक लाइक 101 यस फॉर डमीज आयुर्वेदा फॉर डमीज टू स्टार्ट ऑफ विद व्हाट आर द थ्री बुक्स यू सजेस्ट Uh, classical original books are Charak Sahita, Sushrut Sahita and Ashtang Rudai. These are the basic classics where the basic principles have been written. On the basis of those basic principles, later on, so many other uh, Rushis have written the Grantha. But these are the basic important Grantha on where almost everything has been written. I mean, you need not to even look at the other Grantha if you want to see any other references or any other innovations. They are, they have been Sorry. so innovative. So we are in 2024. These are modern times with modern problems. Yeah. There was no maybe aluminum laced packaging. Mm-hmm. There was no, I don't know. Maybe there was no AIDS at the time. Mm. Maybe there was no, uh, I don't know, some specific cancer. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, people say now people have Alzheimer's more often. Right. How can it be that something has been studied so many years ago? Mm-hmm. My basic question is: We have modern problems. How yeah. do you tackle? How do you tackle contemporary problems with ancient tools? Is it an ancient tool? Yes. Am I allowed to say yes, that, yes, or is course, it offensive? Of course, of course, of course, it is. And you don't think ancient tools is as a derogatory term? Ancient tools, uh, but more of it, it can be called a natural tool. Natural too. Yes, because uh, though the science is ancient, the, the concept is ancient, they have used the nature always to treat anything and nature is flowing always. Uh, there is no end to that. Sure. So whatever was used 5000 years back, that is also available today. The Guruchi, the Ashwagandha, the Kumari, whatever was there, it is there in India even now. So that is why it is easy uh, to uh, implement this science. Otherwise, the, the medicines like Sanjeevani, uh, the reference of which has been given that it can even uh, make a, a dead man li- live. Uh, so, such medicines are there. The Somras, which has been mentioned in uh, Sushro Sanita, in which it has been mentioned that if you consume that for six months for Kaya Kalpa, 
so gradually all your body parts uh, will uh, get shed and fallen down your teeth will get fallen down the skin will uh, be uh, out of your body muscles will get uh, completely uh, ruined yeah. and again it will be regenerated so that kind of medicines references are there but all the medicines are not yet found sure so if you that is again see these see, are the practical is, difficulties this is why it to me in my years mm-hmm. it sounds there's a trust deficit mm-hmm. when you come up with claims which are so tall mm-hmm. which say that it will bring someone back from the dead right that becomes tough to and there has to be there's no documentation mm-hmm. nobody has yeah so uh, come back from when you when you say that now when you uh, did the treatment you found uh, the relief from that yes and when you say now you believe the science i said i got well not knowing which was it the quality of food that you offered which was damn good by the way was it the quality of sleep that you asked us you forced us to implement so the, it's a multi dimensional holistic treatment which made I, me feel I will, so I will, good i will come to that point little later uh, uh, when we talk about the treatment modal, modalities of ayurveda but let us for a for a moment let, let us consider that you have come to uh, this center because this is a ayurvedic center not because uh, sorry say that has, again you have come here for the ayurvedic treatment right not because uh, it has such a, a kind of infrastructure or the facilities or the doctors or, you have come your primary motive was to because see of you and ayurvedic treatment yeah, right yeah so when so believe that and you, your belief in ayurvedic treatment <laughs> <laughs> yes of course i mean believe that you are now fixed with the ayurvedic treatment yes right so now when you believe on one part of uh, uh, science then you cannot say that i just believe uh, this part and i cannot believe this part okay. so entire all the things are written in one book and whatever we did are the basic principles written everywhere in this book so when i did a uh, treatment for your knees that was based on one principle called as oil pulling or snehana which is written in the 13th chapter uh, one more treatment of the potli what we have done was written in the 14th chapter so so whatever the principle has been given in this classics i am i'm using that and on the basis of that only we are doing this treatment so my my uh, conclusion is when we believe in this science there, there may be some tall claims in this but again we should say at the end of the day that this thing we could not find it or research that yet yes. that is the our limitation but as a stakeholder like, of like a scientist a, yes as a stakeholder of my science i am not going to make any tall claims our science is not going to make any tall claims um as a stakeholders uh, whatever is proven so far only we are claiming only about that correct and whatever is possible for us we correct. don't say that uh, if you uh, unfortunately if you get a heart attack you come to us i will treat that i'm not saying that sure definitely uh, we don't we don't uh, claim about it, it seems to me that every time we have a conversation about ayurveda uh-huh. i have to believe in ayurveda but every time i have to when we talk about allopathy mm-hmm. the the word is not believe mm-hmm. it is knowledge so the 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 choice of words that we use for allopathy is the knowledge of science mm-hmm. but when it comes to ayurveda mm-hmm. you don't say the knowledge of ayurveda even you you mm-hmm. say the belief in in ayurveda no no the, the uh, there is there is a reason behind that because every time when we have to tell a concept of ayurveda to someone we have to convince a, a person about that because we are living in an allopathic world yes because even ah, see at the end so of the ninth to... day even when you have fixed uh, 90% of your complaints uh, you still say do i have to believe you are still skeptic about I'm it skeptic. isn't it yes. so uh, this is because uh, see when uh, as you mentioned a pill has come into the market to fix your complaint of fever who has told you that this is a pill which is which will really work and you can uh, consume that who has told you someone close to me no no but to them overall who has given that message to the people of india the pill company and to them who has authenticated the government yes. so if 
wait 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 <laughs> no no we are in we are in <laughs> we are going to dangerous territory no 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 so what are you i'm very clear about what it what are you applying and implying i'm very clear about it in the covid you must have consumed uh, ayurvedic tablet ayush kadha no, i did not ha huh. but there was a people yes. most of the people who were consuming that who, who told them to consume that i don't know government has really yes ayush government has but published that was a immunity booster yes but who told to consume ayush that? minister yes once it is authenticated by government so you you need not to believe on anything it's like the american fda approval yes or well, anything you consume yes. so that through. is what uh, our uh, very sincere intention is that government has so many research institutes their own research institute private research institutes private hospitals like us who has done the clinical research who has the good data yeah uh and now data who yes. owns the, who who owns the data like in the us during covid america had dr fauci who we had baba ramdev <laughs> he is saying have coronel dr yes. fauci is saying wear a mask and take pfizer no i I'm would say names now, where dr ba- ramdev baba has failed dr ramdev baba <laughs> sorry uh, ramdev baba so see this is, <laughs> this has become a perception he has portrayed himself as as if as he do- is a doctor uh, forget about that yeah but uh, where he has failed is again he has tried to sell a coronil yeah. that is a product mm-hmm. but instead of that if he would have uh, told that this is his team of doctors not him yeah. his team of doctors uh, would have told that this is the pathophysiology where the ayurveda looks at the corona and this is how it can be tackled so all the ayurvedic doctors of india can definitely uh, work on this and this line of treatment can be followed when you try to show only your own product yeah. uh, then people won't take it in that way sure. uh, so this has to be for the betterment of every human being and the entire society not for one company or not one individual sure. so probably i think that is what uh, the mission failed there otherwise uh, in the covid itself all of us i myself has treated more than 450 covid patients during thank that you. thank you we have worked in icu also even in icu we have given uh treatment uh, and medicines to uh, patients in icu and we have saved so many lives with that because mm-hmm. immunity can, could be boosted very well with our treatments and uh, yes my my i have a question for you is that if everything is prescribed everything is prescribed in the book now this is a artistic question yeah everything is already jotted down yeah. the isms are mentioned the styles are mentioned yeah to the t you're saying yeah are you allowed to be creative as a doctor can you show your artistry as a doctor can you omit a few things can you can you you know we've reached a stage now there are people like siddharth mukherjee doing crispr technology mm-hmm. gene editing mm-hmm. uh, you know changing uh, removing uh, making editing changes on the on the dna level right so i don't know whether that that what sector that goes that's beyond allopathy also that is like looking at something from a ayurvedic perspective of course are you allowed to be creative or are you Of so course. much uh, the word is rudivadi that you are following it to the t so much that you know i saw that just every day i'm having a massage every day before a uh, certain treatment every day a massage is this mentioned i mean it's a great thank you for it it really works yeah. but uh, are you allowed to be creative have you added anything of your own yeah of course i mean uh, every day massage is a uh, first advice of ayurveda abhyanga mantra nityam so abhyanga has to be done on every day it is not uh, once in a while uh, but only for a patient no 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 for everyone i'm saying how is it possible yes uh, how is that possible uh, i mean uh, it's at the expense of see, somebody else see 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 uh, probably few months back or few years back doing yoga was not possible every day for everyone isn't it now is it becoming possible yeah so likewise there are uh, multiple things which has been given in ayurveda to maintain your uh, general health and that is the beauty of ayurveda ayurveda emphasizes more on prevention uh, it the first intention of ayurveda is uh, about the prevention it first uh, advises you how to prevent your health so that you won't get uh, ill at all sure. in life and uh, your entire life becomes smooth and very healthy and the good health uh, becomes the success of your Uh, your achievements yes. and your overall health so 
that is the part of uh, i mean that is why we have give, we give massage or dabhinga to ev- uh, every day and uh, to everyone But my question is can you be creative have you made any changes yes. to the texts yes i mean uh, in ayurveda see uh, if you go somewhere and if you ask a doctor that i have these problems so somebody might give a medicine somebody might give a panchakarma somebody might give the just a diet schedule but in ayurveda the entire prescription completes when you write all the things like uh, medicine required for you panchakarma to be undergone kind of dietary regime you should follow on dietary basis then what kind of lifestyle how you should maintain that how you can be stress free life so all these things uh, becomes a complete uh, prescription so there we get a lot of chance to be creative about i mean uh, in terms of medicine packaging nowadays as you mm. mentioned the technology has gone at such a level mm. it's uh, beyond the limitations and beyond the imagination now there are no kada aapko roz wo churan lena hai aur aapko banana hai aisa nahi hai now mm. we are also using the uh, taking the help of technology now many things even kada has been converted into tablets the capsules yeah. yes कैप्सूल सॉफ्ट जेल कैप्सूल जो घी है कड़वा होता है तो उसको खाने के लिए कभी कभी तकलीफ होती है किन लोगों को तो उनके लिए कैप्सूल बनी हुई है सॉफ्ट जेल कैप्सूल्स है इवन कॉड लिवर ऑयल एंड दैट इज दैट इज अगेन द सेम थिंग एंड इवन देर आर सो मेनी मेडिसिन वेर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ चूर्ण अर्लियर नाउ दे आर कन्वर्टेड इन टू पिल्स सो वी आर टेकिंग द हेल्प ऑफ द टेक्नोलॉजी एंड वी आर ट्राइंग टू मेक इट एज इनोवेटिव एंड क्रिएटिव एज पॉसिबल and of course i mean as you must have seen uh, see i would have made one building and would have put all the people there and then we would have done the whatever we do that would have been the same but see the creativity itself has given us a vision that yeah. let us make it uh, such a infrastructure yeah. where as soon as you enter your illness should uh, decrease by 50% there itself immediately Uh, not like in hospital where after entering there after getting the smell of the spirit and uh, yeah. other things you feel more and more sick that should not happen so yes. that is how ayurveda gives us a lot of creativity mm. also and that is how creatively we first made our hospital like not like a hospital but as a traditional architecture using that and then in treatment part see when you were staying with us for for 9 days continuously it's my duty to give you the maximum things whatever i can give sure. without uh, making any change in my principles so if i have to give basti uh, then i have to give basti but at the same time i cannot give you the nasya because basti and nasya to be done at on the single uh, in the single treatment is not allowed no. so that is why your treatment is designed like that sure so without making any uh, changes Major in the major modifications yes we can definitely do a lot in that i was saying uh, people generally think about ayurveda at the very end uh, of the i mean as a end option of after allopathy after allopathy so they finish that they have a problem yes then they do allopathy yes they don't get results yes and then they come to you yes ah, and then they say ayurveda doesn't yes. work yes ah, that's a, that's yeah. how do you make someone come to you first ha ah, that that i mean uh, that is what we have to make a change in the perception of the people how awareness awareness how give solutions no the ministry is watching you yeah i mean uh, educating uh, from the school level is one part oh, of that's that stuff that's mm. policy level mm. now but all these are policy level itself i mean even um, uh, increasing the budget of the ayush is a policy level i mean आई मीन स्कूल में अगर आप बच्चों को पढ़ाते हैं बताते हैं कि uh, आपको ये चूर्ण से आप दंत मंजन सुबह आप पेस्ट कर लो भले ही शाम को दंत मंजन कर लो क्योंकि आयुर्वेद में मंजन करने के लिए बोला है मंजन आर मेंट फॉर द गम्स नॉट फॉर द टीथ इवन द डेंटिस्ट सेज ब्रश द गम्स हाँ तो वहाँ पे होना चाहिए वो वहाँ पे आपका अगर वो टाइट है ना तो दाँत तो अपने आप ही अच्छा रहेगा दाँत के लिए कुछ सेपरेट करना नहीं पड़ता लेकिन दाँत के लिए क्या करना पड़ता है ऑयल पुलिंग करना पड़ता है वॉट इज दैन मीन वॉट इज ऑयल पुलिंग हम लोग गंडूस करते हैं ना सुबह यू वर सेइंग पीपल कम टू यू आफ्टर हैविंग अ फेल्ड एलोपैथिक ट्रीटमेंट देन दे कम टू यू देन दे से लेट्स डू आयुर्वेदा देन दे कम टू द लास्ट स्टेज दैट्स अ प्रॉब्लम एंड सो हाउ डू यू लुक एट दिस पेशेंट यू आर लाइक अभी आया मेरे पास नहीं नहीं ऐसा नहीं है 
See, but that is the general perception so of the people. That's sad for yes. you also, yes, yes. for and for someone for you to deliver results. Yes, that is that is the toughest part. But again, I will tell you an important thing. Very important and interesting thing. Uh, after completion of my post graduation, I went to a foreign state, right? US. <laughs> no, not US. I went to Kerala. Okay. <laughs> oh, foreign state. <laughs> I I call that because see, Kerala is a state just beside uh, us in the same country, but the awareness of the Ayurveda in Kerala is very good, and eighty percent of the people chooses Ayurveda as a first line of treatment. Twenty percent chooses allopathy as a first line of treatment, and when they don't get uh, treated by Ayurveda, then they will turn to allopathy. That is a eighty wow. twenty. I didn't know right? that. Actually, I was in Fort Kochi for a for a year. Everyone was selling roots mm. to put in hot water and have. Mm. There was so many. Oh, yeah, 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 so yeah, many course, massage of oil. Of course, I mean, even if you will go yeah, to yeah. any restaurant, you will get a medicated hot water. No, they give hot water. Yes, yeah. and medicated water. Yes. So that is how it is rooted into the culture, and this is how it has to be. Wow, and Kerala is not somewhere in Sri Lanka or in the, yeah. I mean Gulf country. So Kerala is, right is our own state. Yeah. So we just have to copy that, and the policies of the government can be copied. I mean, it's th- that yeah, simple. Actually, they give hot water. It's safe. It's yes. boiled water. Yes. So it's. I mean, yeah, there are many solutions there. Yes. So what I mean to say is, uh, in other states also, if this scenario changes, if people uh, become aware. Uh, if i uh, choose ayurveda as a first line of treatment and if the, it doesn't work and then i the allopathy is always there it is going to help you getting early in the morning getting up early in the morning is linked to your health and that has been mentioned in ayurveda brahme murte uttishte swasto rakshartham ayusham that means just by waking up early in the morning will take care of your entire health and you can just observe the people who wakes up early in the morning and how is their health Now here is my how you said the soldier yes has to be given non veg yes what will you tell a call center employee who works in the night mm-hmm. who cannot follow the principles how how will you treat this patient if in if in ayurveda for example it says wake up in the morning the person is i is sleeps no, no, the whole no, day no 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 uh, it is not like that even look what there i there are options are have been given are, for my, everything my question I mean, the people who are waking up whole night have to work for a whole night for them it has been given that they uh, they should uh, sleep in the morning without ha- without consuming food that is the first thing okay. if they don't consume food and they sleep they can uh, i mean uh, compensate their lack of sleep that is one secondly whatever the time they uh, remain uh, uh, awake whole night for example they have to sleep for 7 hours at night but in a day time they should sleep half of that that is 3 to 4 hours not the entire 7 hours continuously so if you Uh, simply follow this rule who are uh, waking awake whole night have to work in the night shifts so their health will be taken care very nice okay i didn't know this yes so that's what it's a complete science my grandmother would just tell me wake up in the morning ratri jhop no ko ratri uthu no ko lavkar jhop lavkar jhop i would have told her this <laughs> <laughs> i'm we're reaching the end of the podcast i have government policy level questions to ask you because i was damn curious there were two foreigners when we arrived over here there were two foreigners and they told us that they arrived on the ayush visa from scotland so i was like taken aback because uh, this is like i have heard of medical tourism in india but i did not know that the government of india issues uh, the ayush ministry and the government of india issues something called as an ayush visa so for all our people who are watching from out of india uh, doctor can you please explain how does one get an ayush visa what are the benefits who is it for and how I mean, your your marketing yes. pitch. How do you get no, no. them here? <laughs> uh, it's all about. I mean, uh, uh, I'm very much thankful for the government who has created the Ayush Visa, Ayush Portal, and uh, I mean uh, to promote the Ayurveda in India. Can you also explain what is the Ayush? Uh, yes, Ayush is A for Ayurveda, Y for Yoga, U for Unani, S for Siddha, and H for Homeopathy. So Ayush is uh, Ministry of these sciences. and um w- w- government has created a separate visa section for uh, the people who want to seek ayurvedic treatments and the ayush treatments in india and they can apply for that for that 
we have to uh, provide one uh, letter for them initially so what kind of uh, problem they are having and what kind of treatment they would like to have and how many what is the duration they would like to be in the treatment so on the basis of that letter if they submit to the for the visa they will easily get the uh, visa yes. for the treatment that is a very good initiative taken by uh, the indian government so the who are who are mostly europeans are coming here i saw there are filled yes. with yes. europeans because they have uh, european problems now yes. itna maida khate hmm. na pizza pasta i don't know i'm i'm talking of like retail food <laughs> packaged food in the hmm. west what are the kind of patients you are receiving now contemporary i'm i'm talking of in general can you explain the modern problems and offer solutions for from a european perspective yes. because yes. i see even me and my wife yes. my family we started absorbing a little european food right. more or you know japanese food or right uh, spanish food mexican right. food is coming now right. my my intestine my new gut health right. is new experiences so uh, how does ayurveda deal with this and let's just focus this conversation on for european right. for for westerners who are maybe listening to this the first thing is i would like to correct you about something um, they uh, really don't consume too much of maida <laughs> and they 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 really they yes uh, like the chinese what kind of chinese you eat in india that won't be available in china yeah, yeah. so whatever we uh, consume in india in the name of western food and all yes. uh, it is not their really they, it is not their practice yes. and i would say more than 50% people are following a very ideal lifestyle they do wake up early in the morning they start the day in the early morning uh they do finish their dinner before 7 o'clock most of the people and they do party but there is a, a certain frequency for that and uh, that is why if you see the overall life span you will find most of the people are very healthy even in their 70s and 80s yes and active also the people who have come here you're saying it's a cultural problem that we perceive yes it, it is it is perceived differently and the good thing is now europeans are looking at ayurveda and uh, the indian that. science in a very positive way they are accepting things they are understanding th- things in detail about ayurveda and they are very curious about it because now they have come to know the limitations of the allopathy science also we also have the limitations as i mentioned earlier likewise allopathy science is having some limitations people are also understanding that and moreover people have become more aware about the prevention now and they want to do a preventive treatment as well as they want to be fit for longer duration they want to maintain their health they want to maintain their sexual life till the yes. end as much as possible yes. so all these are the requirements and um, this is how it the perception is changing in european countries you don't see it as a allopathy versus ayurveda conversation at all uh, of course I, i don't because i whatever the technology has given us blessed us is uh, hats off to that science yes. and i really believe a lot in allopathy the way uh, the research has happened the way the technology has uh, taken uh, the development in terms of surgery is done sure. uh, even the robotic surgeries have come now and uh, wherever uh, we need their help it is uh, we always welcome yeah, to that amazing. and uh, the critical management the tertiary care is amazing in allopathy so my only sincere thought is let us not land into such conditions uh, any time uh, in life uh, which will cause some emergencies which will cause some critical illnesses which are irreversible yes. which need surgeries let us not land into that yes. that is one thing secondly even if we are in the first grade or second grade or third grade or, or, or in this in terms of severity of yes. the disease first follow ayurveda let us treat it let us reverse that as much as possible even after that if it is not changing salute to allopathy that's amazing yeah i mean they have done a lot of things my last question to you i just thought about this the a2 milk scam uh-huh. is what i look at it is like a2 milk everyone is selling a2 milk and this girl just now who left over here mm-hmm. she told me she took 3 kg of ghee mm-hmm. back to scotland and germany mm-hmm. like what is happening how come that ghee suddenly become famous your dalda was good olive oil was good <laughs> some time back before uh-huh. that now soya milk is very good what is this what is this constant influx of new mm-hmm. discoveries to indians that we are like have soya milk have olive oil have da- vanaspati is good for you have what like and now they are saying a2 milk is good for you i have i'm a skeptic not generally but my question is 
how much ghee is enough now i'm seeing people put four spoons of ghee people are putting <laughs> ghee in coffee hmm. people are putting coconut oil everywhere right people are instead of using olive oil they're using coconut oil that can you set the limits in this podcast of course there has to be limit for everything no, so not only for crazy the, not only for ghee and uh, coconut oil people are saying ghee is good hmm. so put more hmm. so that is what is happening uh, in everything i mean uh, not only about the ghee whenever something is said uh, good about then uh, people are doing extreme about for example now see i will give you an example from last around uh, more than 25 years we are eating apple every day saying that apple is good for health and it will keep you away from the doctor has that happened no people are not eating the apple no no but the people you ask the people who are eating apple, apple regularly similar no? <laughs> right yeah. so now the apple is a fruit which is grown generally from the september to december right but people are eating the apple whole year it is available whole year how come so let us not do anything extreme likewise ah, ghee is okay. good or bad that is not the thing uh, the important concept of ayurveda is purusham purusham viksham that means every person individual is different and ayurveda has to be decided the treatment the diet lifestyle has to be decided individually but for that you as a doctor need to have a lot of empathy then you need to be so sensitive to so many things we have to be and that is that i mean we are i mean that is how we which is why i have to be i thought you're an artist because after speaking to you i felt like i have never met a doctor like it's pretty sensitive as an ayurvedic doctor as a doctor in general you ask so many questions you know i've never gone to a yes. general practitioner yes. or any mp uh, we the, our first consultation went on somewhere around one and a half hour yeah. and that is how we have to get into uh, your entire details uh, what what kind of uh, disease you have suffered in the in, uh, initial uh, years and what kind of food you consume what do you think how is your mental composure uh, what kind of occupation you have we have to, where do you live whether in the coastal area whether in the hilly area in yeah. the cold weather hot weather humid weather uh, what is that creating impact on your body yeah. so even if you say you eat non veg what kind of non veg whether it is seafood whether it is um, red yes. meat whether it is just a egg so all these things uh, should mm-hmm. be considered because all those things uh, uh, makes a lot of matter in your mindset on your physic yes and then on the basis of those details we have to come to conclusion you uh, as a person and then we have to look at your disease that that is called as the holistic approach so if you say that i have knee joint pain i cannot just say uh, yes uh, treat and tackle the knee joint i have to see the entire thing and what is that thing which is causing knee, knee joint i have to treat that okay. too as well as this too so this is the uh, approach of ayurveda which is a, i I, yeah. i can say that is that is the art the, if you ask the, what is the art in that that is the art so much to study milk milk a2 <laughs> a2 tell me yes, should i have a2 or is it okay to no, just have pasteurized see, milk the desi guy the, uh, the desi cow or indian breed cow has an amazing effects for indians or for everybody for everyone for everyone and secondly uh, all the other cows in the world it doesn't mean that they are bad cows yeah. they are also good and they are also good for their weather and they, in those countries uh indian cow has something different because uh, the level of if you see the omega 3 and omega 6 fatty acids and all how it is consumed and how most importantly how it is prepared mm. that is very important in thing. india yes because uh, why these foreigners carried that uh, ghee ghee cow because no. no not just because of that because they don't prepare ghee in a way we do like first uh, sai kada yes then we we get the cream then we uh, put um, the curd in that after that it becomes a complete curd then we uh, do churning then we take the buttermilk out of that the uh, butter is separated and that buttery is again processed and then the ghee becomes the haldi is a pan over ha so everything is very very uh, systematically done and that this process makes the desi ghee Mm-hmm. and that is what uh, i mean it contains some different uh, uh, cool. qualities and that is why it is definitely good a2 milk uh, desi cow's milk is definitely good no, uh, i mean you should not have any uh, question doubt about that but uh, desi bhais bhi desi hi hai yeah. bhais kai bahar se nahi hai bhais bhi desi hi hai yeah. so uh, gai ka ghee kisko dena chahiye bhais ka ghee kisko pina chahiye that differs 
बोल दो यस आई मीन पीपल किसको ग्रोन अप पीपल बेसिकली आई मीन बच्चों को ऐसा बोला गया इनिशियली फॉर फॉर द फर्स्ट थ्री टू फाइव इयर्स टू फाइव इयर्स काउस घी इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इट इज लाइट टू डाइजेस्ट एंड इट इज वेरी मच होमोजीनियस टू द ह्यूमन मिल्क ओके whereas bhais ka ki it is heavy to digest and once you are in the grow uh, growing age fast growing age from 5 to uh, say around uh, 20 24 there you can have bhais ka ki milk and again once you are grown up and then you want to maintain the weight then it is better you prefer the cow's uh, milk back. again so that uh, you won't again put on the by weight by that time you could also be lactose intolerant and maybe you don't need milk also everyone doesn't need uh, milk. um there is again a uh, uh, this thing i yeah, mean uh, difference of opinions in many but uh, as per the ayurveda ayurveda has been um, uh, given an advice to there are some things which can be consumed for life long one out of that is ghee and milk cow's milk okay nice that was a great great learning do you okay. have anything to say to the general population about ayurveda you already mentioned a lot mm-hmm. i have asked him a bunch of core questions right my i you know in terms of do you want to fix any misconceptions that my grandmother might have <laughs> uh, like for example it's okay to stay awake in the night if you're working or anything that is in the general population where you where you misheard something on whatsapp and you're like this is not ayurveda this is this is a wrong uh, 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 you know this is a wrong meaning making of ayurveda and i need to correct it do you have anything like this that comes at top of your mind that yes. you that you want to correct yes. there are two important things i would say one is um as why i mentioned in the beginning itself that ayurveda is a science and has to be perceived as a science because uh it has to be learnt in depth understood in depth and then only it has to be it should be implemented because again it becomes a medical science we are playing with your health yes and which is very crucial thing so uh, whatever you want to follow that should be from the authentic source that should be from the advice of the ayurveda doctor itself uh not from chachi not from Chacha the Chacha. whatsapp message not from the google just google searching the google ashwagandha is good for the immunity you might not be knowing that ashwagandha will also increase your male hormones if the, uh, a lady is consuming that so uh, testosterone goes up yes and then the hormonal imbalance will happen so let us not follow anything blindly a tech advice of your ayurveda doctor who is a qualified ayurveda doctor of uh, and only then only you follow the ayurveda that is first thing secondly this is a very simple thing that if you think that uh, at the end of something you ca- the ayurveda can fix that thought comes to you so it is very logical that in the beginning of, it is very easy to fix uh, with the ayurveda so let us make uh, ayurveda as a first line of treatment and uh, that will uh, help india to lead in the world in terms of uh, health sector and we have a uh, very important thing to be given to the world our prime minister has given a slogan vasundhara eva kutumbakam as you uh, were mentioning about the diet the european people are having so we sit one to one mm. with the patients and ask what kind of food they do consume so i would say they ha- they also are having very good recipes and all the if we combine all the uh, i mean compile all the recipes of the world and we try to analyze what is good in this what is bad in this which is good this thing i mean uh, there was a concept of having flat bread in the western countries like chapati and roti mm. but i would say we indians are very poor in marketing Mm. and we could not sell chapati and roti to them we could not sell dal khichdi to them Mex- yes mexican sold the tortilla to them yes mexican sold that even we are eating a uh, british bread from ages now yeah. but Portuguese. we are unable to make british to eat chapati or the pulka yet yes so uh, thepla yet yeah so, so great, that's a great point yes so uh, if we, uh, our government takes uh, some more initiative to make the indian recipe and understand the science behind it because it's a very scientific uh, process of making indian food uh, there is a uh, science behind everything as i mentioned about the tadka and making chapati so uh, if that is revealed to the people and made it uh, und- uh, understood to the people it, it becomes a very good thing conceptual this has been a great podcast i was just having lunch with one of the patients uh-huh. she told me there are three simple words to articulate the and to solve your health mm-hmm. it's called hari vari kari <laughs> she said don't hurry don't worry 
and don't have curry. <laughs> uh, curry in the sense, uh, she wanted to mention it. Don't have too much spicy. Don't too much spicy. Yes. And uh, do you agree to that? Uh, yes. Don't hurry. Don't worry. And don't <laughs> don't have curry. And uh, it's not that curry, but um, <laughs> curry uh, represents the wrong uh, food, wrong combination of food. Masala or is yes, masala. not not just a masala. Any wrong food. All wrong. wrong food. Yes, wrong food to you Why? individually. Which is not suitable for you, ah, okay. which can cause problem to you. Got it. Curry represents that thing. <laughs> this has been a great conversation. <laughs> Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you so Thank much. You. If you can look into the camera and please say like, comment, and subscribe to Art History Plus, and also you can go ahead and explain people what tapasya is all about. Yes. Of course, uh, like, comment, and subscribe uh, Art and History Plus, and uh, tapasya has a vision to uh, bring Ayurveda as a mainstream system of medicine, not only in India, but uh, globally. And uh, we are just one part of that. We are trying to contribute to our science and to our society. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs>